The deadly drug fentanyl has claimed the lives of teens across the country. No exception in San Luis, Arizona, the ongoing battle with opioids, a growing epidemic. And clandestinely made fentanyl, even a half a pill can, can kill someone. Uh, and it's happened before. Again, we've had about approximately 19 uh, overdoses approximately this year alone. We've had about 16 uh, in 2018, so it's it's obviously a very, very, very dangerous uh, substance. That Authorities identified Noemi Hernandez Mardigal and Alexandra Hernandez as the two female students involved. They will be tried as adults, the third student not being identified because he will be tried as a minor. Lieutenant Santana says on the black market, each pill costs $15. So altogether, this bust worth more than $30 million on the street. Are you looking at approximately 30 200 plus um, uh, 30 pills that were in her possession. One concerned parent who did not want his name on air says he's frustrated with the district for not notifying them of the incident, emphasizing this news doesn't shock him at all. You always hear that there are drugs in the schools and there's not much attention going on right now from the district. Adding schools should implement checkups at school before another life pays the price. There needs to be more security with the kids to monitor them because recently there was a kid with a firearm and I feel like the district doesn't want to notify us so they won't look bad. The three teens now facing potentially severe consequences. Relating to possession of narcotic drug and possession of drug paraphernalia as well as um, having illegal drugs in a drug-free school zone. News 11 did reach out to the district for comment, but they have not returned our phone calls. The two teen girls will be in court Thursday. Reporting in Yuma, Carmen Valencia, News 11.